Today, I will show you how to install Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi 3. The reason why I choose the Raspberry Pi 3 is because it's dirt cheap and it works well. My motto is that if it works great, why change? So go to this website. I'll put the link in the description below. Click for the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Save the file. It is being saved to my download folder. Once it is done, right click on the file, extract it. I'm using 7-zip. Again, I'll send you the uh, link in the description below. Click on extract here. Once it's done, it gives you this IMG file. You can delete the other file if you like. With this file, we're going to write it onto a micro SD card. Plugging in my micro SD card into the USB of the uh, laptop. So you can see the micro SD card I inserted in is drive G. Make a note of it because that's important. To write this file onto the micro SD file, I will use Win32. Click on yes. Click here to find the file. This is the IMG file that we extracted before. Make sure, and this is, I cannot stress this further. Make sure that this is the micro SD card and not your other drives. So I'm 99.99% .99 sure this is my micro SD card. Just to verify one more time. Yes, this is the micro SD card that we're going to write on. Click on write. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, this is the micro SD card. The reason why we're confirming it is because it's very important that you don't wipe your other external drives, such as your document files, for instance, or your photos or your videos. I did that one time and that was not pretty. This whole process of writing the car into another micro SD is about uh, five minutes. It's important that you choose a very high quality micro SD card because if you choose something cheap, then it will uh, malfunction very quickly. The Raspberry Pi is constantly writing data to the car and micro SD cards are not built for it that way. So I always choose the Samsung Endurance series. I'll have the link in the description below as well. All right, it is finished writing to the micro SD card. Now you can pop it out, put it in the Raspberry Pi and boot it up. Hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below.